why computer CPU manufacturers don't really like talking about their memory bandwidth speeds, I don't really know. Maybe they, they're not too proud of these numbers or the marketing department just doesn't think it's a cool topic to cover. For whatever reason, uh, it is a very important topic and we're gonna talk about it today. So RAM, the reason we have it is because a CPU needs to access data at a very, very rapid rate, much quicker than an SSD and very much quicker than a hard drive. So if you have this very, very fast uh, mechanism, what's the point of having a lot of RAM memory in the gigabytes and even terabytes if you can't access, access it very quickly? Uh, and this is really the point. So let's take the 14,900K by Intel. Uh, it can access as much as 192 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but it only accesses that at a bandwidth of 90 gigabytes per second. AMD has their 7950 X3D, and that accesses RAM at 80 gigabits per second and has a maximum limit of 128 gigabytes. Uh, on the Apple side, we have the M3 with 100 gigabytes per second, and that goes all the way up to the M3 Max with uh, 400 gigabytes per second. And then the M2 Ultra has an 800 gigabyte per second bandwidth. So why is Apple so much quicker? Well, they decided to go with a unified memory approach. And that means that the CPU memory and the uh, VRAM or video memory is one and the same thing. So in order for this to happen, the RAM has to be as fast as the VRAM. And historically, VRAM is much faster than RAM to the extent of the NVIDIA RTX uh, 4090 has a one terabyte per second or eight terabit per second memory bandwidth. Uh, so Apple is right behind there with the M2 Ultra 800 gigabyte per second. Uh, is this uh, a very good way to go? Uh, in most cases, yes, because you get this extremely fast CPU memory uh, and you have for a relatively cheap price, you get, for example, uh, 192 gigabytes uh, with the M2 Ultra of VRAM and VRAM is much more expensive than RAM at this point. Uh, for example, the RTX 4090 that I just, I just talked about has 24 gigabytes. So to have the processing power of the RTX 4090, but then get up to 192 gigabyte, gigabytes of VRAM would be very, very expensive indeed. Uh, so the unified memory uh, access from that perspective is awesome. Uh, 